Across modern and contemporary Indian art, we often find references to figurative imagery from paintings and sculptures that date back to the subcontinent's historical past. These have served as pedagogical tools as well as sources of inspiration for artists. Let's examine how representations of the early medieval sculptures and bronzes, among others, have informed practices of Indian artists in unique ways. Mumbai-based artist Sudhir Patwardhan, known for his rich portrayals of urban life, has also created a number of paintings that focus on the artist's studio. His painting, The Eclectic, shows us how the subcontinent's past serves as inspiration for his artistic practice. The painting features the artist standing in his studio, looking out of a window facing a surreal landscape. Among the various pieces of furniture and canvases that line the walls of this space, we find a sculptural head discreetly propped on top of a cabinet in a corner. A closer look reveals that this is a representation of the Hindu god Shiva that seems to be based on the front face of a three-headed Pratihara sculpture from the 10th century. On the other side of the room, angled against a bookshelf on the floor, we see a painted canvas of a Chola bronze sculpture by including a self-portrait within the composition, he traces a direct trajectory from the 10th century to the present day. Let's now look at how the artist Ellen Thalur, known for his large-scale installations, references historical South Asian sculptures to critique contemporary society. Thalur's work Obituary Note and Unicode both reference traditional iconography of the Natraj, a depiction of the Hindu god Shiva in the role of a divine cosmic dancer, encircled by a flamed halo. In Obituary Note, Talur replaces the central figure with charred wood taken from funeral pyres in India. This wooden core invokes notions of world destruction while cleverly nodding at the cremation ground upon which Shiva Natraja dances. Similarly, in Unicode, the artist places a concrete ball embedded with coins, critiquing negative effects of capitalism and urban development on history and tradition. In another work, Milled History, Talur features a replica of a temple sculpture resembling Vishnu figures from Tamil Nadu that has been infested with termites and ants. Here, he comments on the decay and destruction of tradition, more literally by representing a slow wreckage of history. From serving as direct sources of inspiration, worthy of emulation, to rich referential material in more conceptual works, the diverse ways in which artists engage with art history reveal the importance that the past continues to hold for our present and future. Traditional forms of art, furthermore, lend themselves to constant experimentation and redefinition, allowing us to look at history in more imaginative ways.